And I'm Dan Sanchez. And we've spent over 28 hours watching Oscar nominated picks, and we'd like to tell you what we thought. Coming up next here on Dorks and Forks. Live via satellite from the Dolby Theater in Hollywood, California, by way of being pre recorded at the Bruce Production Studio in Wilmington, Delaware. It's the Dorks and Forks Oscar special. And now your hosts, Brian Wilde and Dan Sanchez. Uh, Dan, you know, I have my notes here. And our first category is performance by an actress in a supporting role. All right. The nominees are Patricia Arquette mm -hmm. for Boyhood, yeah. Laura Dern from Wild. Mm -hmm. Uh, Kira Knightley from The Imitation Game, mm -hmm. Emma Stone for Birdman or The Unexpected Virtue of Ignorance, yeah. and of course Meryl Streep uh, Into the Woods. Now, a lot of people say, you know, Meryl Streep is the shoe in for this. I mean, people always say that about Meryl, and that's that's a given, kind of. But, you know, let somebody else get the award for once. Uh, I know Laura Dern was great and wild, uh, but I, and, I, and Emma Stone was, was what she was in Birdman. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna have to go, hands down, Patricia Arquette and Boyhood. Yeah, I think uh, Patricia Arquette's continuity uh, for her performance throughout the 12 years it took to film that yeah. uh, is what sets her apart from everybody else. And I couldn't agree more. Uh, Dan, I think Patricia Arquette takes it through boyhood. All right, Brian, so our next category, of course, is performance by an actor in a supporting role. Sure. So our nominees this year are Robert Duvall in The Judge, uh, Ethan Hawke for Boyhood, Edward Norton in Birdman or The Unexpected Virtue of Ignorance, Mark Ruffalo in Foxcatcher, and of course, J.K. Simmons for Whiplash. What do you think, brother? Look, I mean, there were great performances in all oh, yeah. uh, all the roles, but uh, I gotta say, J.K. Simmons from Whiplash, uh, that movie was uh, almost like a sleeper hit. Yeah. Um, his performance was great in it, the movie was great, it was quick, it was jazzy, and uh, I think he takes it. Yeah, I think, I mean, both, of us were taken by surprise by that film sure. in general, and uh, I, I have to agree with you on this one as well. I mean, Robert Duvall was great in The Judge, and and Ruffalo in The Fox Catcher, and the whole nine yards. Ed Norton, of course, is always good in what yeah, he does. Yeah, Ed Norton. But uh, um, I, I'm with you on this one. It's, it's J.K. Simmons and Whiplash for mm -hmm. sure. Give it to the yellow M&M, J.K. Simmons. All right, Dan, so our next category is performance by an actress in a leading role. All right. Okay, so uh, the very first one uh, for her role in Two Days, One Night, Marianne Cotillard? <laughs> Marianne Cotillard. 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 You almost have to say it like a pirate. Huh? Cotillard. Well, yeah, a little Frenchy kind of, ha <laughs> Cotillard. Sure, so we have her. We have, <laughs> we have Felicity Jones from The Theory of Everything. Oh, yeah. Uh, we have Julianne Moore for Still Alice. Yeah. We have Rosamund Pike. Rosamund Pike, yes. Yeah, from Gone Girl. Mm -hmm. And we have Reese Witherspoon and her chin from the wild. <laughs> Dan, your pick? Oof. Um, man, this is a tough one for me because I know, I know Julianne Moore did her thing in Still Alice. I mean, she's just the consummate professional. Always it goes above and beyond in everything she does. Uh, but I think... When it comes down to brass tacks for me, uh, I'm gonna go with Marianne Cotillard in two days and one night. Yeah, you know, I think I couldn't agree more. You go, we're, we're on the same page again, again for another one, yeah? All That's right. right. On the same page. Even Boom. though I do feel that uh, Felicity Jones and the Theory of Everything was great. I mean, that movie yeah. just hands down was awesome. It was stellar. All right, Dan. So our next category is the best performance by an actor in a leading role. All right. The nominees are Steve Carell in Foxcatcher, Bradley Cooper in American Sniper, Benedict Cumberbatch for The Imitation Game, mm -hmm. Michael Keaton from Birdman or The Unexpected Virtue of Ignorance, and Eddie Redmayne for The Theory of Everything. Wow. Uh, Dan, what do you think? I mean, it, it's a jam-packed category. Uh, you have a couple actors in there, Steve Carell uh, being one of them, who's virtually unrecognizable. Uh, on film, and then uh, Eddie Redmayne, who literally you watch him transform on screen into uh, what we know as Stephen Hawking today um, as a public figure. So it, it's tough. But what are your thoughts? You know, um, I feel like Bradley Cooper's, you know, the favorite for this for sure. his performance in American Sniper. Um, I feel like Benedict Cumberbatch, Michael Keaton, and Bradley Cooper all kind of fit the same category where it was. Uh, you could, it was them playing themselves, playing sure. a character. Like Tom Cruise in every movie. Like Tom Cruise yeah. in every movie. I got uh, you. So, so it really comes down for me to Steve Carell and Foxcatcher and Eddie Redmayne in The Theory of Everything. And I think Eddie Redmayne's got it. 
He's got my vote. I he, think what he did uh, in that role yeah. was was amazing. He was absolutely stellar. I mean, and, and going to those places and, and thinking about what it's like to have that affliction. I, I I don't disagree with you that it wasn't a stellar performance. I'm gonna have to disagree with you on pick, and I'm gonna go with Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton. Um, even though he was playing himself to a point and playing that type of character that we kind of expect from him to a, to an extent, uh, what he brought to it because he had. His, his experience to those things to another level is is what made that realistic to me. So you say Eddie Redmayne for Theory of Everything, I say Michael Keaton. All right, here we are down to our last two categories. Uh, next category is Achievement in Directing, okay? The nominees are for Birdman or The Unexpected Virtue of Ignorance, Alejandro G. Iñárritu, for Boyhood, Richard Linkletter, for a Foxcatcher, Bennett Miller, the Grand Budapest Hotel, Wes Anderson, and for the imitation game, Morton Tilden. All right, Brian, what do you think? So I, I want to say Wes Anderson for the Grand Budapest Hotel, but I don't think he's going to get it. I think they should get it for best cinematography. Sure. Uh, I want to also say for Birdman, because it was all done in kind of one take. Yep. Uh, but that's another cinematography thing, I feel. Uh, but the way but the way he did his the scenes. Uh, sure. Uh, uh, however, I think the winner is um, Richard Linklater for, for Boyhood. For Boyhood, uh, for to make a film uh, to, to expand 12 years of uh, real time, I think is an achievement uh, to keep the, all that together and keep continuity in the story. Um, I think he takes it. Okay. I don't disagree with you that it was a definite achievement, um, but for this particular thing, I'm going to have to say it goes to Birdman, uh, Alejandro. And his cinematographer, I think, teamed up in a, such a way to make it happen, yeah. to work together and, and really make it feel like that one continuous yeah. take. And we really haven't seen anything like that since Alfred Hitchcock's uh, Rope. Sure. Well, there's a reason for that, I think. I, I felt like that one long continuous take kind of turned into a distraction by the end of the movie where you were just begging for it to cut just to give your eyes a rest. Sure, sure. I, I see where you're coming from on that. But, uh, well, I mean, that's my pick. So you say... Uh, I say Richard Linklater for Boyhood. And I say Alejandro G. Iñárritu. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to master that name one day. All right, Dan. The moment we've all been waiting for. Best motion picture of the year. All right, what do we and got? The nominees are American Sniper, Birdman or the Unexpected Virtue of Ignorance, mm -hmm. Boyhood, mm -hmm. The Grand Budapest Hotel, the Imitation Game, Selma, The Theory of Everything, and Whiplash. What a list. Yeah, I feel like, you know, if this was like more of an independent film uh, kind of award, I feel like Whiplash would get it. Sure, absolutely. Great film, great film. However, my, you know, I think uh, also a lot of people think American Sniper is kind of a favorite to win. Yeah, yeah. But definitely not my pick. Not my pick either. What my pick is, is Tim Bevan and the Theory of Everything. It was a great film. Yeah, I think the Theory of Everything had everything working for it. In theory. In theory. <laughs> uh, great direction, yeah. great acting, uh, great cinematography, yeah. great writing, well-rounded film, and my personal pick to win. I have to agree that it's a great f film and it was very well-rounded in, in all of the attributes, uh, but it's not my pick to win. What? I'm gonna go and flip my director pick on its head and say um, Boyhood is actually going to win Boyhood this this year, only because I know how the Academy thinks to a point, and and I think that they're going to look at it from a filmmaking perspective and and say, wow, it was such an achievement to make this film and tell this one story with the same people for 12 years, sure. you know. So I'm going to go Boyhood. See, I feel like where you know Richard Linklater did that for directing, I, I could see him winning. Uh, but not for Best Picture. I don't think there was enough drama in that drama. From a story uh, standpoint, you know, it, I understand. It was where all you're very from. cool where that it took 12 years to make. Yeah. But it, it was just very uninteresting, in my opinion. Well, we'll see what happens. And share with us your, what your picks are, too. Uh, make sure you tweet us at Dorks and Forks on Twitter. Mm -hmm. Like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash Dorks and Forks. And of course, subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash The Dorks and Forks. Sure. I'm Brian Wild. And I'm Dan Sanchez from dorksandforks.com. We'll see you next time. Thank you.